Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Chatura from NTVFX and if you haven't subscribed to NTVFX, uh, please subscribe to NTVFX. We really appreciate it. In this uh, video tutorial, we are going to take a look at the the basic overview of uh, multi-track editor and especially the buttons. You can see there are so many buttons in this uh, multi-track editor track header. We call this section track header. You should have a solid understanding about uh, what are those buttons and uh, why we need to use uh, these buttons when to turn on and turn off these buttons so let's take a look at if you haven't created a multi-track session you can create a multi-track session by file new and multi-track session that's a pretty straightforward process once you created a multi-track session you can drag and drop audio files to your multi-track uh, or any of this uh, track you can see uh, we can scroll down the tracks using this uh, right side uh, handle right so this is the end track and the end track is uh, we call the master track all the uh, all the track outputs uh, comes to master track uh, if you haven't created any bus track so you can see uh, this is the first track and uh, all the tracks has same kind of uh, settings track header except for the master track so once you understand the track one header buttons you can understand all the things so first uh, you need to understand here you can see double arrows when you put mouse there you can see input and output so what is input and output so that is that means uh, the input uh, source for the this track and output source when you click on this arrow you can select none or the stereo or mono or you can select the default mean uh, the input uh, source is uh, your default microphone or you can have if you have many microphones you can select uh, many any kind of microphone and uh, then when you start recording it will capture the sound from that source then you can see the output option uh, currently it is set to master but uh, if you created a bus track you can add the bus track and you can send this this track output to a bus track or any other track uh, normally we route uh, these uh, tracks uh, use uh, via bus tracks because we need to uh, do some uh, audio uh, effect uh, processing inside a bus track or stuff like that so that's why this uh, we use uh, bus tracks right so the next thing is uh, you can see there are two volume and the stereo balance when you if you recorded a stereo audio file you can use this uh, stereo panning option to pan left and pan right the other option is the track volume you can increase the track volume that will affect to the all the clips inside this track uh, there are two methods that we can use to control volumes using uh, either clip clip volume or the track volume using this button we can increase the track volume up to 15 decibel you can see the 15 decibel is the maximum value or you can reduce it to uh, even uh, to infinity right so that means uh, you cannot hear the sound so the next thing is when you go to this effect button you can get a mini version of the effect track so this is the same version using this effect track you can add effect to uh, all the clips in track right so you can do the chasement uh, changes and it is a mini version of this effect track you can easily add uh, up to 16 effects using this effect track the next thing is uh, sense uh, it's a different topic i'm not going to talk about uh, in this uh, point because uh, it's a pretty advanced uh, concept and the next thing is eq when you click on that you will get a dialog box like this right so when you turn on the eq and you can edit the eq settings uh, using this uh, pencil icon when you click on that this uh, can control the track eq this will affect affect to all the clips inside this track you can use any kind of presets vocal enhancer or stuff like that you can add any changes here so that's how we add uh, equalize equalization to this track so i go back to this uh, original uh, in, input and output uh, section and the next thing is a uh, toggle uh, metronome if you want to hear metronome uh, you can turn on and it will add a metronome track and track and you can hear the metronome you can see we can hear the metronome uh, if you don't want turn off that the next option is uh, enable global 
clip stretching when you turn on this uh, clip stretching you can stretch audio files uh, as necessary right so you can uh, turn off that and then uh, the next option is the snapping you can turn on and turn off the snapping snapping means uh, when you move clips to a marker or timeline indicator it will automatically uh, attach to that place that way we can precisely place our clips uh, based on the markers or the blessed based on the playhead you can see it's precisely uh, catch that point you when you turn off that snapping uh, it does not do like that right so it's hard to uh, place the clips so it is a very good idea to snapping uh, the clip and the next option is uh, toggle playback auto scroll so those are the uh, things and here you can see a mini version of the audio uh, level meter when you play uh, audio you can see the audio levels and you can monitor the audio level using this uh, mini version of uh, this uh, audio level meter so those are the basic settings and the other thing i want to mention you is uh, when you uh, you can see an arrow like this you can expand it and it will expand this uh, envelopes right so that contain a different kind of, if you want to do any kind of automation things or keyframe your volume uh, we do those type of things using these uh, envelopes the currently the selected envelope is volume envelope but we can select any other envelope based on here right so you can we can use pan envelope now uh, we can pan uh, using uh, this envelope so let's say we want to change the volume we can add keyframes by clicking on here Right, so we can animate automate the uh, volume adjustment here let's play that so you can see this is how we control the uh, volume and uh, keyframe the volume and you can add any other properties like uh, uh, effect or delay you can animate any kind of property here you can see that we added a new envelope and we can keyframe these uh, things here so we here we have some keyframe controls like uh, add the keyframe or remove uh, clear all keyframes or you can lock the uh, keyframes so those are the basic settings inside this uh, multi-track header so all the tracks has uh, same controls and i think uh, you have a really good idea about the uh, track header inside multi-track editor so i encourage you to do some experiment uh, and uh, get familiar with these uh, track header buttons